Should I tell you a story of where... I don't know if I've shared this before. I think I have. But... When I found out that money is wealth is all relative. It's all relative, right? Really, it's all relative. <laughs> Balloon has, I gotta step up my money making skills. <laughs> what comes for a family or money? You're born into a family. Family comes before money, always. Okay. Yeah, Baby Knight nice says family, always, always, always. Here, let me tell you a story about when I it really clicked to me that wealth is relative. How much money you make is relative, okay? In the late 80s, after graduating high school, I was lucky. I had facial hair in high school, all right? So facial hair in high school got you really far in the 80s. I used to do runs for for friends and stuff going to a liquor store buy booze and shit like this when i was 16 right because i have facial hair in canada it's 19, 19 years old you can buy booze right in vegas you have to be 21 to be able to get a room to gamble and stuff like this in the late 80s i wasn't 21 i was going to vegas sometimes by myself getting a room and gambling right one of those times i i think it was a bally's i got a room it was Bally's or Paris I can't remember which one it was all right I got a room and at the time I would already graduated to craps I was mainly playing playing craps so it was like three o'clock in the morning three thirty four o'clock in the morning and I went to the craps table it was just one guy very rich guy and he had a shooter a lot, a lot of rich people don't that well not a lot but there's some rich people that used to get either homeless people or poor people or connections they had in vegas to roll dice for them because they didn't want to roll dice right so this really rich guy was there and he had a shooter with him right and he was playing big six and big eight right and he had stacks of black chips hundreds and pink chips 500 dollar chips us dollars we're talking right his stack on big six and big eight or fucking like this high right like this is hundreds and these are purples he had those on both the big six and big eight fucking insane right the guy was gambling i don't know fucking he had like 20 grand on the table easy easy right me chicho little chicho i was like fucking 18 years old right <laughs> i've been drinking free drinks at the tables fucking all day I go up to the table with like fucking 100 bucks, 120 bucks or something like this, right? And the minimum bet on the table at the time was like five bucks. So I put five bucks and I put the odds in the back, right? It's my turn to roll. There's only two of us rolling, the shooter and me, right? So I start rolling and I'm betting different than this guy. I'm betting the numbers and whatnot and i'm getting fours and fives and nines and tens but i'm not getting the six and the eight right so i make my money on the f the four five nine and ten right and the six i'm not making any money because i'm not rolling it right and then i roll the seven i'm out and i did this multiple times right this guy's betting six and eight so when I'm rolling, I'm getting my money back plus some. I'm making money. I'm getting my drinks. I'm having a great time. I roll a seven. The guy fucking loses his money again and again and again. And the shooter's not doing good. When it gets to him, the guy fucking rolls out. Seven is out poof, right away. He's fucking pissed. Right? The guy dropped, I don't know, 60 grand in like a matter of 15 minutes. No, not 15 minutes because it was rolling longer. So let's say six rolls, right? So after the third time it came to me, I turned to the... And the crafts tables has the pit, right? The guy's sitting there. They got one, I forget what the names are. One person here, one person here, and one person controlling the dice, right? So the third time it comes to me, I'm rolling. I'm getting my fours and tens and fives and nines. And I turn to the guy, I go, and I roll the seven. And I'm out, right? And I turn to the guy, I go, fuck, I feel bad. This guy was an older guy. At the time, remember, I was 18 right 
the guy working the table, the dealer working the table right beside me, he was like fucking in his, his he had to be like mid 50s, right? Gray hair, he looked like me at the time, right? And he looked at me, so I turned to him, I go, oh man, I feel bad. And he stood there, like, like in this, and he turned to me and goes, why do you feel bad? I go, well, the guy's fucking losing thousands upon thousands, and I'm playing for five bucks. He goes, he turns to me and says, does he pay your rent? I go, uh, no. He goes, then why the fuck do you care? <laughs> I went, fucking hey give me the dice <laughs> right that lesson was one of the most brilliant lessons that I took away with me when I was 18 years old money wealth is relative and you shouldn't give a shit about what the other person's making or what the other person's gambling it's about you your life how you're living what you want to do right if that guy's willing to risk that Maybe he's worth fucking billions. That doesn't mean shit to him, right? My money is what mean, means to me, right? Man, I kept on playing, fucking phenomenal. Saw the sun rise, wouldn't have breakfast. Wouldn't have fucking slept a little bit. Got up, fucking did another round, right? Adra <laughs> Madas. In that case, he said, you say, hand me a stack. It doesn't work that way right you'll meet millionaires and billionaires that'll fucking bargain with you on a business deal that you want to make to save themselves fucking 10 cents on a dollar okay but they'll buy you drinks pay for the bill that would cost more than what the deal you're trying to make it's about the deal it's not about handing people money handing people money makes money fucking it, it, it makes it poisons the whole thing right that's why printing money has been fucking bullshit because it's devalued everything right it, it makes it 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 makes everything petty right that's the kicker that's the lesson right it's fucking brilliant it's fucking brilliant some of the greatest lessons I've ever learned in my life have been on a gambling table on a poker table on a blackjack table on a craps table on a baccarat table right? on a roulette table amazing times amazing times the 80s and the 90s